He'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Asakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fix you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back! LAPD! What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are we fight. here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. 
You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. This doesn't pertain to the case. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands, and you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there.
Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You're behind the wheel. Do we know where we're going? You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Has that just been paid look about him? I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Uh, you got a problem? How? This town's dangerous. One of these days... That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow.
door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. It doesn't appear to be connected. Gives us an angle if he has a real love interest. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Another window exit. Must have just missed him. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. All right, let's go after his girl, see if that gets us any closer. Keep talking, someday you'll say something intelligent. That's that cop. Can you drive to this one? Where are we going? So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. Socks in it this year. You, LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Sounds like we're missing he's all the gone fun. And Get in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. I told you I haven't seen him. <laughs> like hitting women, do you? We had a gun. This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around.
Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. She's leaving town. Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Escania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You know he won the fight. You know people are after him. I walked out on him. I'm sick of waiting around for him, nursing him when he's busted up, listening to his faded dreams. I got dreams too, you know. I'm sure you have. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Your friend Carlo seems to be looking for them too. Carlo is no friend of mine. He's no friend of Albert's either. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. And you're not planning to meet Albert? No, I am not. I've saved up a little money and I'm going to open a dress shop. Well, get out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you.
tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Just losing the trail. Slack. Gotta get closer.
been at risk losing the trail. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. The guy that busted all those Negro trucks? A blonde woman it? just came in here. I heard he's an honest cop. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Car 11K, 11 King. Further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGP Elsia. Police entering in a citizen report suspicious activity on a trolley car on Fountain Avenue. Stand by for further information. Any central unit. Car 11 King, go ahead with the further. 11 K, see the woman. A 288 just occurred on the Angelino Heights trolley. Currently. LAPD, ma'am. Are you alright? That low life. That filthy low life. What happened? I was standing ready to get off and I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my... <clears throat> up my... Which way did he go? There! That's him! Right there! Ah, oh, fuck.
Go on, Phelps, get after that creeper. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. LAPD, ma'am. Are you all right? That lowlife! That filthy lowlife! What happened? I was standing ready to get off and... I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my... <clears throat> up my... Which way did he go? There! That's him! Right there! Ah, uh, fuck. Go on, Phelps, get after that creeper! the road. Getting close and steer him off the tar. Sorry, Eleven King. Go ahead with the further. LAPD, ma'am. Are you all right? That lowlife! That filthy lowlife! What happened? I was standing ready to get off and... I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my... <clears throat> up my... Which way did he go? There! That's him! Right there! Ah. Uh. 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 Fuck. Go 
Go on, Phelps, get after that creeper! Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! Getting close and steer him off the tar. where I can see them. You're under arrest for public indecency. Oh, Christ. You know the way. You can drive. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She should know his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. 
We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. You can drive. All right, where to? Two peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. You have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Can you drive to this one? Fine, where are we headed? This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. stops is she gonna make? Hammond is full of himself, being this sure he was gonna win. God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Cole. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. side. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Hey, buddy, you dropped something?
When is America going to understand? It's not about getting, it's about giving. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Three blondes walk into a bar. Does that just the look people? about him? Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he said... Just so try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Thirty-two caliber. One shot fired. The Egyptian theater. So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Roy, we're in a hurry. Hold on, I'm coming. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Do we know where we're going? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. Clear. He stabbed her. <laughs> I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Come on, Roy. All right, all right. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. 
She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck, and Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon! You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Come on, Cole. I'm coming too when I find him. And it's the electric chair. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl? You're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street.